Hey, I'm back again uh, with the last of the interviews. Uh, and let me say, here's my own best advice. It's from Henry Ford, who said, think you can, think you can't. You're right. And you know, that's a good reminder for me that uh, says that I can do anything, achieve any success, if I put my mind to it. I'm Barney Taxel. Uh, I'm the uh, president, founder, and photographer at Taxel Image Group um, here in Cleveland, Ohio. So I've been asked to speak about the best business advice I've ever gotten. And I'd like to um, tell you about a note that I got from a very good friend of mine uh, in 1998. His uh, name is Peter Moraldo, and Peter Moraldo was the premier photo finisher in Cleveland for many, many years. Uh, he was the person who made all of us look good before the digital age. And Peter sent me a note, and I, I think I'm going to read it to you because I still keep it near my desk. It's, this is a quote from E.W. Elmore. It's not half as important to burn the midnight oil as it is to be awake in the daytime. I am Tiffany Myronek, and I work at Cleveland Magazine. And I have to say the best advice I've ever been given uh, was to be myself and to make sure that when I um, have an issue or, or something that I need help with to go to the person that's going to help me uh, accomplish that and make it happen. Um, I have to say uh, the, the easiest thing to do is to complain to someone that can't help you solve the problem. Um, and when I was a manager, I also told uh, my, my uh, employees that they should come to me always uh, so I can help them solve that problem. And I think that's some of the best advice I've ever get, gotten when it comes to being in the business world. So um, I hope that helps, and thank you for letting me be a part of it. This is John Etor. I have a, a writing practice and a, a coaching practice called Working With Words. Thanks. So in terms of advice about career or whatever, I'm, I'm real big on mentorship. I, I'm a mentor to some people, but uh, I'm just kind of returning the favor of some mentors of mine. So my, my kind of uber mentor is a guy named William Zinser, who has written about you know, 18 or 20 books. He's kind of the writer's writer. Um, and he wrote a, probably his most important book is on writing well. I took it out on a boat, and I think it was 1988, read it, thinking I was going to read two or three um, chapters. Uh, at 8 in the morning or 7 in the morning, and, and I read the whole book. It was so compelling. Uh, but the cool thing about that is I've really retained over the years a friendship, a mentorship, somebody that uh, once a year I go and see. I stay in touch uh, every couple months. By, he still doesn't do email, believe it or not. He actually blogs for a magazine, but doesn't do email to this day. So we stay in touch the old-fashioned way by letters and uh, phone calls. And the advice, encouragement, support I've gotten from that is just beyond anything I could even say in two hours. But um, So when I think about advice, I think about specific mentors. It's anchored in specific people who have something to teach you really by an example of their life. So I Hi, Barry Levin, with Print Communications. My, uh, my advice comes from my father who, at the age of 13, in the middle of the Depression in 1931, moved out of the orphanage which he was living in. My father was an orphan. And uh, he had a very tough life, but when World War II broke out, he was the first one to enlist. He enlisted a second time and a third time. Came home in 46 and, and went from the occupational forces in Korea. He's, uh, when I came home from high school and I had straight A's, but I got a B in health, my father says to me, why did you get a B, an A in health? And so I said to him, why do you always push me so much? And he says, ask for more than you want, and maybe you'll get that and a little bit more. So consequently, he taught me about raising the bar and raising the bar high, and I raised my children the same way. And another one of his mottos was, never say it's good enough. And one time I said that to my son, and he reminded me of what my father said, never say it's good enough. Always keep the bar high. Thank you. I'm Jennifer McCutcheon Carabinas. I'm owner of Yoga Tree Cleveland International. And 
The best advice ever given to me comes from a quote from Anna Freud. I was always looking outside myself for strength and confidence, but it comes from within. It is there all the time. My name is John Moore. I'm with Moore Communications. And the best advice I ever got was from my wife, Mary. It's going to sound very self-serving. But the advice was, um, we had been planning a trip to go around the world for a year in the early 70s. And I was starting to back out at the last minute because my job was going very well. And I didn't want to take a chance on coming back into the workforce and not being able to get a job or as good a job. And I said, you know, Mary, maybe we ought to put this trip off uh, until after we have kids or, you know, in the future sometime. And she said, no, I think we should go right now. And I took her up on it, and we traveled around the world for um, about 11 and a half months. We went down the Nile from Cairo uh, down into East Africa and down to Rhodesia, which is uh, now Zimbabwe. And that was the best advice I ever had. Hey, I want to thank uh, Lisa Ryan of Gratigy.com for helping us today to do this video, and here's Lisa. Hi, it's Lisa Ryan again. Just wanted to invite you to the new networking group that I have co-founded called the Positive Thinkers Network. If you'd like more information, you can go to PositiveThinkersNetwork.com, and we look forward to seeing you at an upcoming event.